Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Tisa and it's so great to have everyone here. I'm here right now looking into September the 9th and September the 10th is 2023. And of course, everything that you're going to need to know about me, it will all be right down below and it's in our description box. And I just want to go ahead and take a moment and thank you so much for all of your love and your support, your donations and all. Thank you so much. On my channel, I go and find a secretive energy that is hidden and I bring it to light. So the mystery is solved here now. Enter at your own discretion. And take a resonate in this message and leave all the rest. Don't make something fit here. It's not your story, okay? Now, happy birthday to the sign of Virgo. I really do hope that you are enjoying your birthday. Let's see what we have here for the message for the collective, okay? All right, mature woman is right here. We start here with. Right, let's see what else we're going to get. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we have right here. High honor is right here. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, message, okay? And we have here, flipping all the way over here, is the Great Fortune card, all right? At the bottom of the deck, we have this wealthy man. That's the overall energy up here, okay? Let me see what the Psychic Tarot also adds to this conversation here, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, allow me now to be the channel here, okay? Third eye chakra, intuitive. Okay, what's the message right here? Maybe get a visions. The devil card. Mm, okay, one more card, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. And we have this lion energy right there. Okay, the power card, the strength card, Leo. All right, and we had a sun right here, but I'm not gonna keep this one. But the sun right here, I mean, this is the hope, Aquarius energy. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have partnership and alliances. All right, so I'm going to use the tarot and space deck. And in this deck right here, you can see right here, the comets are called the cups. The lasers are the swords. The planets are the pentacles. And the rockets are the wands in this particular deck right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. So this first row right here, I have a mature woman and I have a third eye chakra. So I feel like somebody over here is intuitive. Okay. Or somebody here gets visions, I feel, right here with these two. Okay, and it could be very mature about something right here. Or we'll realize something could be the case here. Okay, so let's see here. What's going down, please? The third eye chakra. We have right here the magician. Somebody's very much consciously aware about something right here. It could be a Gemini or Virgo. But I feel like somebody's consciously aware. Maybe somebody even knows something right here about a magic spell. Could be the case here. Okay, could be the case here. All right. Okay, now, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, message for a collective here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, message for the collective here. And we have, all right, the Nine of Wands. This card on here says disqualified. And this card is somebody right here believing in yourself. They're not going to give up about something right here, okay? So somebody's consciously aware about something right here. They could have had a vision. Okay, and I feel like they believe in their self right here is what I'm getting right here, okay? Now we have this card sticking up here right here. Could be a magic spell, a black magic spell could be the case right here. This one and this one. The devil and the magician. Now this could be a, a black magic spell. I feel like somebody's doing a black magic spell here. Now somebody definitely could have had a vision about witches or warlocks or something like that. Maybe they did, okay? I feel like they had a vision right here. Okay, yes, the nine of wands right here. Okay, you have to believe in yourself right here. Don't give up right here about something right here. Maybe somebody here wanted you to be disqualified for something. Could be the case. Because this is not only a magic spell. This is black magic over here with the devil and the magician card. Okay, so what's the message right here? Yeah, the strength card right here. Okay, now look at how this one is winking at somebody here. Okay. Okay, so I feel like you got a vision that somebody was doing black magic spell. Okay, they're disqualified right here. Yeah. See the strength card right here. You're in a strength though. I'm getting like it beats the magic spell for some people here. Okay. Could be definitely a Leo or Virgo, Capricorn, and Gemini. Be significant to something in there right here. Okay, what else is going on here, please? Please look for the angels. Yeah, the lovers card. Like quite a few major arcanas over here, okay? 
yeah all of these are major arcanas okay the only one i don't have a major arcana right here is this nine of wands right here the disqualified card right there right hmm. so i have now right here the judgment and the empress and then I also do have right here the lover's card right here. Okay, I have down here the strength, the devil, and the magician. Let me take a look for a second, okay? Let's see what we got going on here, okay? So there's so much that's going on right here. Like, seriously though, okay? I'm getting like, somebody could be consciously aware about a Capricorn. Somebody trying to bound somebody to something right here, all right? They could be consciously aware somebody's lusting. They could be consciously aware of a narcissist. I got so much going on right here, okay? All right, so the empress right here and the devil. Maybe somebody's obsessed with somebody's mother, could be the case. Or they could be obsessed with you becoming the mother, okay? That's what it could be. Or some. it could be somebody over here that is a mother that's obsessed with you, could be the case. Somebody could have had some type of premonition or vision over here about a mother a Taurus or a Libra, maybe, or anybody else, okay? All right? Now, I'm also seeing over here, right? The devil and the lovers. Now, this is sure enough lusting. So I'm not sure if they're lusting about the mother or this is the mother that's lusting. Or somebody here wants somebody to be the mother. Could be the case, all right? But whatever is going on, I feel like somebody definitely woke up to it right here. The judgment is somebody waking up to these things right here, I feel. Okay, that somebody's lusting about the mother or somebody's mother's lover. Okay, a magic spell, dark magic. Even could be a mother that's doing the dark magic or maybe somebody was doing it on the mother. They could be obsessed with having a child by somebody right here. Okay. And I just feel like right here, they disqualified them. Hmm? Or they disqualified for all of those things they was doing over here. I feel like it. Because why? Because why? Because somebody's intuitive right here. That's the reason why, okay? Somebody's intuition set them free. I'm going to get right here for something right here, okay? What's the mature woman? Hmm. The emperor could be our father right here. Okay? And I kind of feel like somebody takes control over something right here in some way. Somebody knows that every smiley face right there is not always smiling behind that smile. They know that for some people right here. They're mature enough to know something like that. I get the sense right here. Okay. Ooh, wow. Because I feel like this person right here is mature enough to see through their soul, I feel, for some people right here. They can sit there and smile. They can do whatever they want to do. Okay. But if something here doesn't feel right, somebody knows that, I feel. Okay. It could be an Aries right here. They know that. Even could be a father. Okay. But this is a tower right here. Revelation. Understanding. Eva could be liberation right here. Somebody could be liberated from something right here. Because I feel like they're checking some energy here. Right? It doesn't matter if somebody come over here with a smiley face. They look innocent. doesn't matter. Okay? What matters is, what are you feeling inside here? Okay? And that right there is the tower to something right here. Because somebody here is smiling and everything. I feel like they were doing black magic spells. They were obsessed with somebody's mother or whatever else it was on over here. Okay? Okay, all those things could have been going on behind the scenes. I'm getting right here. <laughs> Dang. Get the message right here, please. Holy Spirit, holy angels. A short woman here. Mm. Six of Pentacles right here. Yeah. Okay. You're liberated. Something right here about money. You even could have moved just move some money. See how this woman right here is asking her something right here about money. The six of planets is the six of pentacles. And the six of pentacles is the give and take receiving money here. Okay. So it's a revelation about money in some way. Could be the case. The father or the mother. Or somebody lusting or whatever else. Put some much right here, please. Hmm. Hmm. Cha 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 cha. Yeah, somebody knows the truth about something right here, okay? They could have knew right here to move their money. They could have knew so many different things they could have knew. But I'm getting like, you see her eyes? But the eyes is the window of the soul. So I get a sense right here, okay? Yeah, right? Tower, revelation. You knew they walked away emotionally. They had another lover, could be the case. Or they walked away. Or they did something with money, something like that. Somebody knows they did that right there, I feel Okay. Hmm. You even 
could be opening somebody else's eyes. So they can look at somebody right here about money. Could be the case too. Could be the case too, okay? Child, child, child. Mm. What's the message right here, please? Yeah, because I'm hearing lean not to your own understanding about something right here. Because, see, when you try to do something on your own, right here, and, and then don't go to your understanding within, right? This smiley face is the whole story here. Okay, but when you look deeper than that, right, somebody could be doing black magic spell here. Could have been the case for somebody here. Somebody could be doing something with somebody's money and everything else like that here. Okay? Okay? <laughs> See, the subconscious right here, it never lies. That's what I'm getting right here. The moon card is the subconscious. See, the subconscious here is not going to lie about something here, I feel. Okay? So, if some energy is shifting or you feel some type of way about something right here. Okay? You need to listen to your gut. Okay, listen to your guts. Listen to your intuition about something that's going on right here. It could be a Pisces or Cancer or anybody else. Just listen to your intuition and get right here. Okay. All right. So the temptation card right here. See, I feel like somebody here is tempted, right, to be high honor with that smile or whatever. But I feel like that could be a whole lot going on over here through somebody's intuition. Right. Or through some vision or even a dream. Could be the case right here. Okay, or even a dream right there could be. Okay. <laughs> right. Sometimes we don't understand why we get certain dreams. Right? It it will become clearer. Okay, so type of way. It'll under it'll become clearer. Okay. What's the message right here, please? It's temptation temptation card right here, okay? Holy Spirit, holy angels. Alright. The yeah, Ace of Pentacles right here. See, the Ace of Pentacles is something here that's very stable. It's dependable. It's reliable. It's the type of way. It could be a partnership. Maybe somebody here want to be in a partnership right here with you. Could be a Capricorn right here. Okay? Could be. But I really don't like the way this person's face is looking like that. I mean, do you? I don't know. But I'm telling you, my opinion here is that I don't like the way their face look like that. It's making me feel like they want somebody to second guess something right here. Okay? They could be doing oblivious spell right here or something like that. Okay? Since we already have a spell over here. Okay? So they could be doing oblivious spell. Okay? Or maybe somebody here really wants the Capricorn to second guess themselves. Something like that right here. Okay? Hmm? That's the match right here. Or, you didn't see that. That's not what I said. Or, some word sailing. Could be the case here, too. Could be the case here. Okay. Yeah, eight of pentacles right here. Yeah, see. <laughs> see, this, this is another thing I'm getting right here, okay? You got to follow me here, okay? Because you really got to know about these energies here, okay? I'm getting like, right here, right? Somebody's consistent and dedicated. Eight of Pentacles is consistent and dedication, right? When somebody's consistent and dedicated about something over and over and over and over again, then your mind could change, could be the case. See, then you go from looking forward to the left or to the right or whatever, right? Yeah. See, that's because somebody is consistent and dedicated. They could be tempted to say something or do something like every single day or whatever, Okay, maybe somebody want you to think that they're, they're stable or something like that. Okay, what's the message here? Yeah, Queen of Cups right here. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio right here. You know, if somebody tell you every single day, you love me, you love me, you love me, right? It sounds like a part, keep repeating itself, right? But it actually works on your subconscious, okay? It's just like a subliminal or affirmation. Okay, somebody keep telling you something right here, then you believe that you love them could be the case. Okay, so that's something like the eight of pentacles is somebody right here that's putting the hard work, that's being focused every single day. I think like somebody's focused right here every single day about something right here, okay, to make you change your mind or something like that. Could be a um Capricorn. I feel like this Capricorn, if this is the Capricorn, I feel like this Capricorn is really, really doing a magic spell. This could be the Capricorn is doing it some people right here, okay. Because I already got the devil over here and the magician card. Okay. Mm. I'm not sure they're doing a chance or what is they doing. Okay. Are they trying to get you to come over here and be with them? 
I'm afraid they're doing the magic stuff. I mean, you might really realize that right here with the um, high priestess right here. Maybe you realize next. Somebody's doing a magic spell. Like, you love me, you love me, you love me. I wonder, are they doing it? Are they doing a chant or something like that? To change your mind or, I don't know, something like that, okay? Hmm. See, because the Queen of Cups is loving. It's like loving energy. It's like, I want you to love me or somebody's doing a magic, the Capricorn, doing a magic spell on the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or they could be doing it on the Capricorn. So they go either way like that. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Like, you're going to love me or something like that. Okay? <laughs> you're going to love me. Somebody wants you to love them through a magic spell, I feel right here. There's some more going on here. Let's pray. There's some more going on here. Okay. I'm getting right here. Okay. See, when you start seeing those swords, you know you talk, you, you, you're barking down the right tree here, step away. Okay. So, page of swords, you're seeing them. But anyway, what else? Hmm? Three of pentacles right here. See, somebody's planning to do something right here, I feel. Right? Yeah. They want you to love them or something like that. Or they want you to conform to something they want you to do here. Okay. I feel like somebody's doing something every single day right here. It could be a magic spell. Right. That's one way it could be. Another way this could be. We have a third party. Three of Pentacles right here. Could be a third party as well. Okay, there's somebody here is putting the hard work into. So maybe somebody here over here is putting the hard work into a third party. That's another way they could be doing over here. Okay. And they want to be victorious for here over third party for some people here. So that's one way it could be. They might even want to get somebody pregnant right here. Three of Pentacles, or maybe they want you to get them pregnant, whatever way it could be. Okay, they might want that right here. All right. But um, I'm feeling like they want something like that right here. Okay. What else is going on right here with the devil card? I'm just hearing like your intuition is not going to steer you wrong. Listen to your gut. So I'm getting right here. You got to listen to your gut about something like that right here. Okay. About sex right here. A new start. Something like that right here. Or did somebody already get somebody pregnant? Could be the case. Something like that. Could be it. Okay. What's the high honor right here? Or is somebody trying to get them pregnant? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. See, seven of wands right here. See, you have to listen to your intuition about anybody. I'm getting right here. Whether they high honor or not. Okay, you have to listen to your gut about something like that. I'm getting right here for somebody here. Okay, whether they high honor or not. What is your intuition telling you about something here? Could be the case here. Okay. See, the seven of wands is a part of being defensive. Okay. See, I feel like it's a challenge right here, right? For somebody here to be high honor in some way in somebody's life right here. Because they have to really be trustworthy, I feel. Or they have to make practical decisions in some way right here, right? Right? Something like that. Or they put the hard work over here to a third party, something like that. That's going to be a challenge to be high honor to somebody over here then. Since they put the hard work into a third party, something like that could be the case. To high honor right here, yeah. Seven of cups right here. See, for some people here, they explore other options. That's for some people here, right? And then for some people right here, it's wishful thinking right here, right? That they could be high honor in somebody's life, and they over here got somebody pregnant, or they working on a third party over here. See. Somebody wants to be victorious with this third party for some people. That's what I'm getting for some people here. They're, they're real, real slick for some people here. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to have a third party. Some people right here. Okay. I feel like that's what you're thinking. I feel right here. Seven of Cups right there. That's what you're thinking right here. Because somebody might know the truth right here. It could be a husband. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo right here. Okay. Yeah. 
Somebody wants that cake and eat it too. Say what? I'm getting my hand. Yeah. They're going to be powerless in something like that, okay? With a Leo or with a, with a Libra or whoever else. They're going to be powerless in something like that. I'm getting my hand with these two right here. We problems for them. Something like that's revealed. It's a cause and effect for something like that, and they're going to be, they're going to be powerless right here. Okay, I feel like the universe will intervene or something like that into something like this here. Okay, a third party. I feel some people here. Wow. Right. But some of you, I feel like what they're doing is trying to tell you something over and over again, right? Like subliminal or whatever they're doing. Okay, they want to keep telling you something right here over and over again. Eight of Pentacles. Or have you read something or something like that, right? So that they could be hot, hot on in some way, okay? I just feel like it doesn't matter if they smile in your face, okay? You have to trust your gut about something or somebody here, okay? Okay, so let's see here. All right, let's jump part right here. Okay. All right, great fortune right here. All right, let's see. What's the message right here? This power card. What's the power card right here, please? Okay, yeah. Ten of swords right here. This even could be right here. Somebody wants to take your power. So I'm getting right here. They want to take your power for somebody right here. Okay? Ten of swords right there. Yeah. Or they want to take some money or something like that they want to do. There's some people right here. They want to right here. I feel like they want to do that through a relationship for some people right here. All right? I feel like they're saying affirmations or subliminals or chants or having somebody read something or look at something, okay? There's many ways to do it. There's many ways to do it right here. I feel like that's the truth. Here we go to swords again. The lasers, it's the swords. That's the truth I'm getting right here. They want to do it for some people right here. All right, what's the great fortune? Yeah, three of, three of wands right here, right? See, because somebody wants to be trustworthy right here in the future. But I feel like they want to take your power for some people right here. I feel they want to take your power right here. Seven of Pentacles right here. They want to see results through you or how you get great fortune or something like that. Or use your name or something they want to do right here. I feel. Okay. They know you're really powerful. Okay. What's the wealthy name? Yeah, see, it's hopeless. Hopeless. Something here is hopeless right here, I feel. Right? Yeah. They want to be your official person right here. The wealthy man right here. They want to be your official person or something like that, right? Yeah. Now, they have anxiety right here, right? Because I feel like this person could be an enemy in disguise. I feel like this person right here wants to take your power. Okay? They come up here smiling all they want to like this, okay? But I'm getting right here. If it doesn't feel right, it ain't right. It's not right. It's not right. So it's not right, I feel. Okay, yeah. It is what's up to here to go into your favor, maybe, right here, right? Could be the case. Well, it is what's up to change with you and them or something like that, okay? Yeah. Let's so get here. Could be a praise right here. This even could be fame. Maybe they didn't want something here to go into your favor, being famous or something like that. Could be the case. Somebody even could be optimistic right here in some way. If they could do some magic spell or whatever else. I feel like they still stuck right here with some people right here. Right? Because I feel like as long as you listen to your intuition right here, you're going to know somebody's doing a black magic spell. Okay? You're going to know they're over here doing some chants. You're going to feel something. Something's going to be off. You're going to feel it. And then you need to go deeper. Right like there. Okay? What's the partnership and alliances? Yeah. So we have right here the Ace of Cups right here and the King of Cups right here. Yeah. See, somebody knows something is off with them in some way, okay? Yeah. Partnership and alliances right here, right? Death card. I feel like somebody entered something right here with them. Could be a Scorpio. But I'm getting right here, right? Definitely could be a Scorpio. King of Cups again is a Scorpio. But five of wands right here, that's a conflict right here, right? Being the King of Cups, trustworthy, caring, and loving. Or somebody realizes right here, this person right here that's standing here, they're not right for real. They're really in competition with them. So like that could be the case here. So kind of feel. Hmm? Because either they're lusting over here or they're doing something impulsively in some type of way that you have to be on point and, and pick up on it. Okay? It could be a water sign. Okay? Something somebody's saying, pay attention. I'm getting right here for some people right here. Okay? 
So yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Any other message? Yeah, you're gonna know right here who you hold back from or not. I feel like you can believe in yourself and not give up on yourself right here. Okay, for some of you right here, because some of you right here they have a third party right here. Okay. They could be trying to hold on to two different people, and I feel like they are right here. Just holding on to two different people. So for some people, that's what they're trying to do right here. Okay. So you just have to listen to your gut. I feel like they're juggling right here for some people right here. Definitely. Okay. They even could be trying more than one thing right here to get you to, you know, conform to what they want you to do or something like that. To, to reconcile. So some people right here, I just feel like there's somebody else here in this energy. This could be a third party here in this energy, though. Okay. So anyway, yeah, that's what I have here. All right, thank you so much for taking a look at this message. We'll get back together again soon. I'll see you. Peace, blessings, love, and light. Namaste to you.